Good morning. Oh, need some more coffee and a beautiful day. And let's go on safari in the Kruger National Park. <laughs> Not even a kilometer into the park, and we have the first sighting is hyena. First one hyena beside the road, then a second, and then they're running off into the bush. So, not a bad start. Let's see what else we can find. Didn't even get a photograph, it's not even that light yet. And we have traffic and stoppers on the road ahead on the hill, several OSVs and a couple of cars. What are we all stopped for? Let's roll up the hill gently, have a look. The road's completely blocked because of course people aren't always sensible. Um, usually if, if there's a sighting like on one side, you stop on, all stop on that one side of the road, leave it clear. People don't do that. Like these OSVs, they should know better. That all So far, I think it's about six vehicles already up there, maybe more, road's entirely blocked. So if it's in front, we can't see it. Maybe it's on the road. I don't think it's elephants. They do a reversing car now. To the right. I'm very lucky something walking down the road and will stop here and walk towards us. What do we have? Where do we have it? I think they're indicating looking to the right, but uh, it's difficult to tell where all the people are craning their heads. It's so reasonably exciting. There's uh, now eight vehicles here. Yeah, nothing moving. I'm sort of hanging back a bit rather than, you know, because I could go up beside all these people, but we'll just wait here and see what is what. I might even go back a little bit, just away from them, just to uh, get a view like this and uh, sit and wait. Is it my morning cheetah? Maybe lion? It's definitely not in parlour. Well, it's hanging in a tree. Well, definitely, it definitely seems to be going that way, but I see nothing. None of the OSVs are moving anywhere, so I presume they've either got a view or... Let's get the camera ready to go. On the off chance we get a nice clear view. It's still quite early light, so... Well, no light, sunrise actually hasn't come up yet. It's light, but the sun hasn't come up. Another, another five minutes before sunrise. All right, let's gear up and get ready. What do we have? It's moving, whatever it is. Hopefully towards us, that's the idea. What it actually is, we do not know yet. We are prepped. Here it is, it's a leopard. It's right there in the grass, about 200 meters away from us. Not even that. Right behind us, I think. Possibly, yeah, there she is. Right on the road behind us. Beautiful. Morning leopard. <laughs> Just standing on the road. There she goes. Yeah, got her again. A beautiful spot but I I'm gonna leave it it's a leopard sighting did get a beautiful sighting I even got a good clip of it I think on the video to show you but uh, but I think we're going to carry on and see what else we can find and leave this uh, beautiful leopard to 
have his peaceful life in the bush. And is it our day? I think there's another leopard on the road ahead. I can't get a view of it yet. Yep, it's a leopard. I don't know if it's the same one or a different one, but let's see if we can get a nice view of it. <laughs> the nice thing is coming to one of the dams is you can sit and set up, see what comes in, see what happens. The disadvantage of the people. But we'll not go there. Did have some geese flying around a while ago, I'll show you those pictures. At the moment, beautiful grey heron over there. Just a quiet time for me to enjoy some coffee and a mince pie. There we have some stoppers ahead. A couple of vehicles, some on the left, some on the right, not that many. Oh, we have zebra, so first zebra of the day. Beautiful group of three sitting 20 meters from the road, swishing their tails, having their morning breakfast. Morning zebras, just three. Oops. Oh no, there's some on the left hand side as well. Morning, go, they're even closer. Beautiful in this morning light. Morning zebras. Morning. Oh, and much more over there. Oh, there's a lot of them. <laughs> and a, oh no, it's a sable. I have one sable on the right hand side. Ah, incredible. Oh, look at that. I'm going to get the camera up this and I'm going to block the road. <laughs> I'm not going to block the road. I'm going to move quietly, but I'm going to set the camera up. Right through the grass. There's two of them. There they are. Can I get a nice clear shot? Oh, don't see sable very often. They are a bit off in the distance in the bush. And they're very well hidden behind grass. So I don't know how clear a shot I'm going to get, but uh, I probably don't need high speed shots for these. Unless something's hunting them. We are having a stunning day. You don't see many sable ever. I mean, and they're beautiful animals. These two males, they've got really dark bodies, beautiful horns, and they're quite pale faces. Now let's enjoy this, because you don't see sable very often. This is lovely to see. Used to be hunted for their skin, especially the males. Uh, sable at one time was a very fashionable accessory to put on clothing. Thankfully, not so much now. Okay, we are having a fantastic morning. I mean, don't expect this every time we go to Kruger. I mean, it'd be nice to, but we've had hyena, we've had leopard, we've had sable. I mean, it's, I can't remember. I think I see sable less than I see lion and leopard. So that is remarkable. Morning. <laughs> Thank you, sable. They've disappeared out of sight now. Okay, let's trundle on. Have a sip of coffee first and then, uh, Let's see what we get. Hop on the road. It's a... We just scurried across the road. It's a little grey diker, I think. And it's gone. And somebody's just kindly stopped and pointed out on my side. Here is a brown hooded kingfisher fishing over a little bit of water here. Now, you know, right against the light, sitting there beautifully. I think if I go forward, Turn around, I might be able to get a picture of you with a light. These things can be so patient as well. Oh, there he goes down. And now, let's see what this guy is. Another noisy bird, making a lot of noise. Bird eater, seed eater. Oh, it's a seed eater. Oh, this is what I had the other day in the bush going, ah! This one also is in the bush going, ah! Pink. Can I get a closer to him? No, oh, no, he's gonna come play, he's flown away. We got a whole bunch of vultures sitting on a tree. Some of them have been taking off. I wonder if we can catch them as they take off and then get some nice shots of them in the sky.
got to be quick. Even with the vulture that was sitting there, now there's not one in sight. Not a bird in a tree. What is it? Looks like a pale front. It's quite big. Let's see if we can get a clear. Oh, I got a clear view of it somewhere. What is that? Okay. It could be a partial eagle. Or a vulture huddled down. Not sure, but let's try. Let's have a look. There's bits of paper joining me on the journey today. Zooming in now, I confirm. It's a vulture. Trying with vultures, they don't really fly very much. Well, that sounds like an old statement, but sometimes when they're perched, they stay there for quite some time. Now, will he fly away or will he stay? He's definitely not looking like a flyer. Could you uh, raise your head and look left, or over your shoulder to the right would be good as well, but I think left will get the light in your eye much better. Nearly. You can't see a beak. A little bit more to the left. And if you could stretch your neck up a little bit. Or fly. This is one very non-cooperative vulture. And we're just going to settle for a little bit of video and a photo in a tree, I think. But very beautiful in this early morning light. Okay, I'm going to pack up now, Vulture. Oh, look, oh, you looked round. Must have heard what I was saying. <laughs> also, I'm checking to see there's no predators. Vultures tend to follow predators around, but I can't see anything. But he has. Turned his head a little bit this way so we can... Uh, Nice shot of him showing his eye and beak so we can ID him. Okay. What's next? Now, just spotted down, I'm scavenging beside the road. A beautiful emerald spotted dove. I love these birds. They scavenge along the road like they've got no legs. Let's have a quick look at him. Look at him. So beautiful when that iridescent green catches the sunlight. Absolutely spectacular. But they really run around like they've got no legs. <laughs> and, oh, have corrugations as I stealthily sneak up on a bird in a tree. Big bird. Let's have a look and see what it is. See if I can sneak up. And not too close. You've got to learn with birds how close you can get to them before you spin. into the sun so FOMO here we come now let's see if he is gonna cooperate with us wildebeest I love a good wildebeest let's pop over and just see it's just one poor wildebeest standing by himself I'm sure his friends are around somewhere, or wildebeest sometimes adopt zebra as well. Hey, now, here is a beautiful opportunity. I wonder, there is a little bee eater over there. Now, can I get some nice shots of him? He's not too far away, but these are quite flighty birds. So let's see. These guys are fast. I hope I got that for you. It, uh, it was there just for 
hunting for a little bit on that perch over there. Now he's flown off into the bush. But they are beautiful birds, that beautiful blue eyebrow they have. But boy, they fly quickly. As the sun is setting, we don't have much time left, but we still have time for this beautiful elephant strolling through the grass to end another beautiful day in the Kruger National Park.